hello all. I know it's uh, been some time since I've actually done a little video. Um, welcome to my greenhouse and a lot of the stuff in here is um, growing the way Mr. Jeff Foreman has explained over the last few months, years probably. Um, my greenhouse, I'll give you a bit of background on it, it's, uh, it's a 12 by 8 um, it's got a complete concrete floor which I thought would be safer as it's on grass and I've had it just over a year and last year I had quite a disaster with my tomatoes and my cucumbers um, I, I went too mad and I ended up with about 12, to, uh, 12 tomato plants and about 4 or 5 cucumber plants and the tomato plants were just not very good. The watering wasn't that good, um, which I'm going to rectify this year hopefully with a drip irrigation system. And my cucumbers, for some reason they were market more and they just, they were not very nice. The, the skins were thick, they were quite quite large, I must admit they were quite large, but the skins were very thick and they weren't really so this year I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try Femspot, um, which is an all-female variety. And hopefully, if I do a couple of them and cut down on my tomatoes, because like I say last year, I actually had a lot of tomato seeds from tomatoes that we bought, especially the tiny, little tiny black ones and the little red pear ones. Um, I had hundreds of little tiny tomatoes. They tasted alright, but they just weren't what I was expecting. Um, at the moment in here I've got, let's have a look around, I've got my strawberries in the baskets. I've got uh, two there in front of me, two here and two behind, and there's three, three in each basket um, with a pot for watering. Um, I've got fuchsias, which are down there. And I have chrysanthemums on the bench, and seedlings coming up left, right, and centre. I've got two um, grapevines. One's a black, and one's a white. So what I'll do is I'll spin you round and let you have a look at what I've been doing. There's a lot of tidying up to be done in here at the moment. Um, I've got my tomato seeds are in, and. After my disaster with my dahlia seedlings, well, I took the lid off them and the frost got them. <laughs> they just went woof, flop, and that was it. They were all black and I had to start again. But they were up quite a way, I must admit. Um, I've got a small heater in here, I've got a paraffin heater as well, and, uh, as well as my electric one. And I've got two heat mats which I've got seedlings on and a couple of daily of tubers. So anyway, without further ado, I'll spin you around. As you can see, my daily of tube, tubers are coming up nicely there. Uh, the front one is my new daily of seedlings coming up and geraniums at the back. I have some sweet peas there, a lemon tree, a couple of plum trees coming up there and believe it or not that there is a peach stone which I grew last year which hasn't really done a lot but it's getting there so we got chrysanthemums at the back, some more dahlia tubers there, more chrysanthemums well, I've got lettuce, I've got busy lizzies, some more dahlia tubers coming up. I've got red onions at the back, and under here I've got some more uh, busy lizzies, but they haven't done much yet. Coming round, got some more lettuce. Yeah, I've got my 
white onions potted on. I've got some radishes coming up there. And this is the grow bit where I'm doing my tomatoes. As you can see, I've got uh, little pot things which I got off the internet. And they're quite good. I've got some tiny Tims, Jeff Spanish ones. I've got some Turkish ones there. And at the back there, I've got some tumblers. I've got Tesco Vine ones, which I saved out of Tesco's. And Money Maker. Now these here, my leeks muscle burrow. They're not doing very well. They've been in there for about six weeks, seven weeks, like that, and they just ain't moving. So perhaps somebody can give me a heads up on that one. I wish my wish they'd grow as well as my cabbages have. They're doing quite well. I potted them up the other day. And they was a little bit limp, but they've all come through, and they're doing quite well. So, go up to the shelf. Here we have, um, get a proper hold of you. We have some geraniums on there, and these are sweet williams, which are getting crushed. And here, we have... Some candy top which hasn't come up yet, and I just noticed we've got some cineraria coming through there, so that'll be quite handy. And this one here is three rows, as per Jeff suggested, of Swan River Swan River daisies. So I can prick them out and put them in, and there's some more busy lizzies there. So, of course we've got fuchsias, we've got geraniums there, and we've got come round past the mess. And I've got another lemon there, I've got cuttings and bits and pieces. My spider plant don't like it out here, I'm going to have to take him indoors and give him a bit of a warm up. And of course I use... Levington's bedding and potting compost which is there advanced and I've got some perlite and grow short um, vermiculite down there and the obligatory sand so I'm not doing too bad come round on the floor we got pansies and they're supposed to be winter pansies, but I haven't put them out yet, so... And then we got some wallflowers. And underneath the bench, we got my two grapevines, which come up. And there's one, which is the black, which comes across. And the other one comes up there, past me strawberries, and that comes across. Of course, my strawberries are in pots. I've got six of them, so hopefully I shall get some strawberries this year. And that is about it. I've got my two heat mats. And under there I've got a, a tube heater, which is all plugged in. The green hose coming through the floor actually goes out to the shed which is then fed up underneath to a socket and that feeds this extension which feeds everything else around here so what I'll do is I'll walk you slowly so nobody gets ouch, sick just bang my head on my strawberries like you do show you outside, got two big water butts, three big water butts caravan which we inherited and there's my bed, my raised bed, which somebody kindly built for me, or well, left me actually, when we bought the house it was here, so somebody built it. I just had a good four or five inches of horse manure on that, all turned in, overwintered. The netting is because of my cats, 
they get on there. As soon as I dig it, they're on there and they just dig it up and do what cats do. And they've got to come and clear it all up. And So I'll put the mesh on there now. Walking over, I've got two flower borders. One there. And one over there. Which were absolutely full of bulbs, corms, you name it. And I dug them all out, because what the wife said, she, she wants this all stoned, with big pots on it, with roses or something in it with some colour. So what I've got to do is wait until this ground gets a little bit drier, then I can dig all them out, put the mesh down, or the fabric down, and then put some stones on it. So, walking over, Around the corner, I've got my strawberries which I grew last year, which are in the pots, they're all up on along the back there. And hopefully, they'll all come into life as the weather warms up a bit. And that, believe it or not, was the same as that, which is quite tall. And when we had Storm Doris. It fell over and was leaning up against the side of my bungalow. So I had to cut it down and I'll have to dig it out. The same as that one. That one's starting to get very loose now as well. So I shall cut that up and dig it out and get rid of it. And there's the culprit. He's digging in my plot. Naughty cat. So she's following me. What do you want? What do you want? Eh? Yeah, you're pain in the backside. So I'll walk you back and then, as you can see, if I step back the size of it, I mean it is a it's a fairly big greenhouse. You see on a four inch concrete base. And uh, the trouble is, I've got a water leak. Water seems to be getting underneath, come around the side. So I've got some fruit trees there, I've got apple, pear, plum, bits and pieces. But I think the water is getting down sort of along there, under this. So what I'll do is, when the weather warms up a bit, I'll take all this away and then squirt some sealer down there and all round the greenhouse to try and seal it in but uh, them trees will be coming out of there soon I was only in there for a while but they've been there a year now so they will get put outside somewhere and we'll go back in and I will flip you round I'm back. Take that off. Got no hair. <laughs> I think gardeners are not supposed to have hair. Um, yeah, so basically I'm just going to get down to getting this sorted out, get me pots ready for me tomatoes to go in, which will go down this side. And um, I think cucumbers will go over the back there somewhere. The strawberries are coming on quite well, so I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, I've got hundreds and hundreds of pots. I've got enough pots to do half the estate, I think. So, uh, Anyway, love you and leave you. Don't forget to subscribe or like or share or just delete me if you want. It's up to you. So, anyway, I'd like to just say a, a shout out to Jeff because he's inspired me in a lot of ways. And I've just got watching... Um, young Dean on the plot and he's, he's quite amusing as well um, and there's a few others on there which I haven't mentioned yet but I will do in another video so anyway take care and I'll speak to you soon